Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we will talk about the error in the Quran which is, we spoke about it before, it's called uh, about the sister of Aaron. Um, there is some Muslims, you know, they make many videos trying to uh, debunk uh, such a stupid error made by the self-proclaimed prophet Muhammad. And one of them is an Arabic teacher. Uh, his name is Learn Quranic Arabic. Uh, you know, in, in their main uh, response, they use what their prophet said. When the Christians, they got Muhammad busted at that time. Uh, Muhammad, he was a questioned, uh, actually the followers of Muhammad, they were questioned by the Christians. How you say such a stupid thing? You know, there is a, there is, do you know, do you know how far the distance between Moses and Aaron and Mary, the mother of Jesus? Now, you will notice here, uh, Muhammad did not say as a response, uh, no, I was a, it was an error. No, he found the solution. He said, well, in the time of the Jews, they used to call uh, a person by his ancestor by using the word uh, brother or sister. And uh, this guy who uh, claimed to be an Arabic teacher, he said, that if we go to the Hebrew, we will find the same word as akh and ukht. And he said it's very normal to use it uh, to call somebody as uh, not necessarily a brother. You see the Quran, the word ukht appear in the Quran in certain locations. And if we check them out, we will find none of them is coming as a sister, not in the meaning of a sister in blood, not even one. In the same time, uh, Kabul Ahbar, he went to the in the time of Muhammad to Aisha. Uh, this is here. This is the hadith here about uh, a guy. His name Al Mughira ibn Shaba said that the Prophet sent me to the people of Najran, and then they said to him, uh, "Aren't you uh, aren't you the ones which mean the Muslims who recite?" Oh, sister of Aaron? I, I said, yes. And they said to him, don't you know the distance of time between uh, uh, Isa and Moses? So I came back to the prophet and I told him, and he said, oh, they used to call, or they used to call each other by the, uh, by the names of their prophets and the good ones of them. I mean, you know, what the good ones of them? But, I mean, let us say I live in town, and a thousand years ago, I have a good guy, he used to live there, or he is a prophet. And then I call, you call me the brother of that guy, why? I have a father, I have a mother, I have a family, I have a name. Now, to make it short and to show you how stupid this response is where Muhammad tried to defend himself which can be found in the books of hadith too you know uh, if we go in the books of hadith we will find it uh, let me see uh, here we go all right this is a translation and you know as you see Muhammad response is it, uh, it's very clear that at that time people they use to call by the good ones uh, the ancestors of the good ones okay Based on this, the story is settled down, but the, 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 the error is not only about the sister of Aaron, because the sister of Aaron, we can let it go if Muhammad did not claim that Maryam is the daughter of Umran. You see, many of those who make videos, like the guy, uh, this guy learned Arabic, he is refuting uh, supposedly David Wood. But David Wood do not know really much about uh, Islam. He, you know, they learn a few things and then they try to make uh, uh, the point about it and I understand. But the point is not made by one error. You have to connect the, connect the whole puzzle of the image so you can get to the conclusion. You see, Muhammad, when he spoke about Mary, he did not only mention Mary. One saying the sister of Aaron, no. The Quran speak about Mary, she have a brother as Aaron. And speak about Mary, she have a father. If we find out who is the father of Mary, 
then we will know if Muhammad he meant really that Mary is a sister of our own in political or by blood you know if we go to the Quran uh, those are the verses in the front of us three verses using the word ukht and this guy he is an Arabic teacher so he can view and he can post his comment if he dare in here it's talking about inheritance this is a verse about inheritance and this is a chapter 4 verse number 12 let me make it bigger so you guys can see better numbers in the screen all right so chapter 4 chapter 12 it is about inheritance all right now here it says the one if the man he inherit or you know etc uh, to his uh, to to a woman or to a brother ach or ucht so here is about inheritance and ucht here is a sister from by blood this is why she had the right to inherit this is not about a guy who lived a thousand of years ago and then we say she is a sister so she is a sister from blood and this is why she can inherit this uh, one to six of the inheritance then we go to different verse we will find the same about inheritance in chapter 4 verse number 176 and again the word ucht is appearing uh, you know and uh, you know uh, you see here ukhwa like this guy he said the word ukhwa it can be uh, you know uh, someone he is not a brother I will let that go no problem yes this is true but ucht never been used in such a way in the Quran at least to say to me that the Quran meant something else then you have to explain to me how come in the Quran never mentioned such a stage or such a situation where somebody called the sister of etc or you know uh, but as you see we are speaking about people who inherit in blood then we will find here the sister of Aaron and this is a chapter 19 verse number 28 that's wonderful now if we go in the Quran and we search for the name which is the father of Mary what his name let us switch to Arabic sorry if Muhammad he got the name correct then maybe Muhammad was right he was not he did not mean that Mary is the sister of Aaron in, a, in by blood all right so here we will find all the verses speaking about Amran look at this chapter 3 verse number 35 chapter 3 verse number 35 we can use any Abdul translation all right let me make it bigger all right perfect behold the women of Amran said oh my lord etc and then this woman she is the wife of Amran she deliver a woman or a female child and that child is Mary <laughs> so according to Muhammad the father of Mary who is who is Amran but this is a wrong number for the father of Mary Amran well, who's Amran you can go and check in the Bible you will laugh but because Muhammad was confused about who is Mary the identity of Mary and by the way the Quran does not use the word Mary the same we see in English he used the word Maryam take a note of that Maryam all right Maryam not Mary now so Maryam is the daughter of a guy his name is Omran and this Maryam or Mary is the mother of Jesus that's wonderful if we go in the Bible we will find this all right here we will find uh, the story in front of us about the Pharaoh and etc etc and now you will see Maryam the prophets the sister 
of Aaron. Do you see it? This is where Muhammad he got his information from. Maryam, it's exactly how the name used in the Quran, by the way. Not Mary, as I said. And those who speak Arabic from the Muslims, they, they, they can witness for this, uh, and, and that will be very hurting. So he took it from here. This is, this is exactly what he said in the Quran. Oh, Mary, the sister of Aaron. Because it says there, Maryam, the sister of Aaron. So Muhammad, he heard from the Jews, uh, speaking about a woman, her name is Maryam. And this is exactly what the Quran used as a name for the mother of Jesus. So Muhammad, he thought that this is the same woman. Her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron. And not only that, she is the daughter of Umran. Who is Umran? Muhammad, he got the name for, uh, wrong. It is Umran. He said Umran, you know, because he is an ignorant. So Umran, or Amram, the correct name, he is the father of Mary, Maryam, Amran. He is the father of Arun. He is the father of Moses, and he is the father of Maryam, their sister. And there, this is where Muhammad the stupid he got his information from, thinking that this is what happened exactly. There is a guy, his name is Umran. He got a daughter, her name is Maryam. And Maryam is the sister of Moses and the sister of Aaron. So he said, oh, sister of Aaron. So you see here, the mistakes is double mistake. Muhammad, he mistaken the identity. Mary is the daughter of who? And the sister of who? So if the Muslim try to get away from Mary, the sister of Aaron, can they get away from Mary, the sister of Umran? As you see. Is it like an accident? I mean, who's Umran? Go check yourself. You will find that this is a this not this this name is not exist when it's come to Mary. So, it's obvious, and not only that. In the time of Muhammad, Ka'b uh, al-Ahbar, he came to Muhammad, and he told him, uh, you know, uh, like as I know that there is no. Uh, uh, let me show you the hadith. Hold on. Uh, well, let us see. Yeah, this is a tafsir. I will post the link underneath. All right. Kabul al Ahbar, who supposedly uh, used to be a rabbi in the Jews and he converted to Islam as the Muslims claim after the Jews lost their war with Muhammad, he said to Aisha, uh, You know, Aisha, as I know, that Mary is not the sister of Moses or Harun. Hmm? Ya ukhta Harun. Laysa bi Harun akhi Musa. Qalat. Qal. Faqultu lahu. Faqalat lahu Aisha kadib. So uh, this guy he said to her. But she is not. Uh, you know she cannot be the sister of uh, Aaron the brother of Moses. So what I actually said to him, you did told a lie. You are a liar. You are a liar. So Aisha in the time of Muhammad, she understood it correctly that Muhammad, he meant that she is the sister of Aaron by blood. And you can find the translation of this story here from Ibn Kathir. And this is the English translation. I will post all the links under the video. So the story is so clear that Muhammad, he make a stupid mistake. He thought Mary is the sister of Aaron. He thought that the father of Mary is Umran, which is coming from the name of Umran. Umran. He, Muhammad, he could not pronounce the name correctly. This is why it's coming funny. So he, he said Umran. I mean, look how even the name in Quran is Umran. In the, in the Bible is Umran. Umran. Isn't it obvious? So she is the daughter of Umran. She is the sister of Moses, and those are verses taken exactly copy paste from the Bible. And he thought by doing that he is being a Jew. He is speaking as a Jew. Oh sister, oh Maryam, the sister of the prophet, the sister of Aaron. And the verses in the front of your eyes. So he cannot defend this. It doesn't matter. And I challenge any Abdul to refute what I just said. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please download the video, share it with your friends. 
and be the man and accept the challenge of the Christian Prince. Your prophet obviously is the most false scam, bigger scam, biggest scam in history. And you know, I mean, I do not need to be a genius to know that he is a scam because he's a prophet, he promised me a big penis. You know, a big penis prophet cannot be a prophet. That is a pimp. A God who promised me a lot of vagina in heaven, he cannot be God. That's a pimp from Las Vegas. A God who gave me 70 years promise, 70 years orgasm, that's a God of orgasm. And that maybe can be a God who can be found in some countries in Asia. Uh, you know, there is islands where they have a dildos and God of uh, sex. And you know, I mean, this is, I mean, this is stupid. Stop being stupid Muslims, it is obvious. Anyway, I hope, I hope that the promise of your prophet will come true and you will get the wife who her ass is one mile and she will sit in the top of you and you will be so sorry for accepting Islam. Thank you very much and God bless you all.